what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the movie Skyscraper now the star is Dwayne Johnson and is directed by Rawson Marshall now this film is about a former FBI agent who must rescue his family from the tallest skyscraper in the world which has been taken over by a group of terrorists now this was a pretty entertaining film at times it could seem kind of far-fetched but that the actual skyscraper itself which is known as the pearl in the film was a cool and awesome looking building you know now the pearl itself was a state-of-the-art building which had a whole bunch of like advanced like technology type stuff in it you know which was very cool and i'm not going to touch on everything now that's one part of the film that i thought it that it could have explored more, you know, but they didn't, you know. But it was still like a pretty awesome building, you know. And it's this film itself, you know, like the action scenes that were very like exciting, you know, and some of the moments were very tense, you know, where like you know Dwayne Johnson has to rescue his family. There's moments where he had to go around like the building, and like he's like in situations where yeah he's about to fall and stuff like that. I'm not gonna touch on it too much, but those moments were like very tense and exciting, you know. <laughs> you have uh, Dwayne Johnson in the film. He plays a uh, Will Sawyer. And Will Sawyer is a former FBI hostage rescue team leader. Now the film does open like 10 years in the past and it shows a situation that uh, Will Sawyer had got in where he actually had to uh, rescue a hostage from this guy, you know. I think the guy was actually like the uh, the father, you know, the hostage was actually like the son of his father, you know, and they get into like, this situation. And of course something happens, you know, I'll go and say, well, this is a spoiler territory. Not too big of a spoiler, you know. But apparently, like, the, uh, the father, I think that was the father, you know, he actually blows up him and his son, you know. And at the same time that this incident happens, you have uh, Will Sawyer, he actually gets, like, dang, uh, he actually gets injured in the explosion, which causes one of his legs to be, uh, well, eventually he will have to get one of his legs amputated because the film jumps back into the present day and you can tell he actually lost one of his legs in this hostage situation. Which kind of makes for an interesting, like, you know, plot point in the film because now he has to run around like this tall skyscraper to save his family from like terrorists with like this, his leg, one of his legs missing. So it is kind of an interesting, you know, an odd choice that they made for this film, but it is kind of appealing, you know, to a certain extent. You also have uh, Nev Campbell in the film too as uh, Sarah Sawyer and she's actually the wife of Will Sawyer and I thought she played her role pretty well you know they have like two kids like a daughter and a son you know and I thought her, her role was played pretty well and she actually has like experiments too in this field with uh, you know Will Sawyer's character they have like a link you know she has like I think like a uh, I forgot what it was I think like a uh, I think first day you know experience or something like that you know she's good at like providing like I think like you know medical type needs you know and she also can fight too as well you know because <laughs> those moments where she, she actually has to act to save her family or herself you know she has to fight off some of the terrorists and you know and so on now you also have a uh, Chen Han and Zhao Long Ji I think that's how you pronounce his name in the film he is actually like the creator of the uh, the pearl the, the skyscraper in the building he's actually like the creator of this building you know and he, I thought he did a pretty good job in the film at times it could seem kind of like shady and somewhat you know but you know, uh, I don't want to go into it too much because it kind of ruined the film. But he's actually the creator, if I'm not mistaken, of this building, you know, this advanced high tech building known as the Pearl. Now, Will Sawyer, he ends up in the Pearl because of uh, Zhao Yalong Ji. He actually uh, brings him into like the building, you know, to be head of the security. So that's why Will Sawyer is actually in the Pearl to with his family because he's like head of security, you know. And he already had like a, a suspicion that terrorists could t attack that building, you know. Cause it's the tallest building in the world you know so why would terrorists would not want to attack the pearl you know so that's one of the reasons why he was actually brought in to be like head of the security in the building you know and i guess you could say the actual antagonist of the film the villain of the film is uh i think koros bolta and he's like the terrorist you know and he's played by uh, roland Mahler. now he's actually i guess you could say the antagonist of the film now the uh this is one of the flaws i thought to the film you know itself like what was going on with her, you know, why they were attacking the the, uh, the pearl, the separate song was kind of like odd, you know, I thought it could have done like a little better with that, you know, that situation of why they was actually attacking the building, I thought it was kind of like, you know, far-fetched and I thought that could have been a better plot, you know, they could have made a better plot for the film itself, you know, but overall I thought this was a pretty entertaining film, you know, I thought the performances were like pretty good, you know, everybody played their role pretty good, you know, it seemed kind of odd seeing Nev Campbell in this kind of film, you know, 
being this is like a big explosive like action film, you know. Now at the same time, it felt kind of this film itself felt kind of very similar to like a Die Hard movie. Like the first Die Hard film, it felt very similar to that to me, from my opinion. You know, at times, you know, you had like this huge building and it's like terrorists taking it over, you know. But at the same time, you had this fire that's in the building too. And that was nothing I thought was kind of terrifying about the, the pearl itself. The fire that was actually in the building it was kind of like not halfway in the building, but kind of like in like a, a mid portion of the building. So if you were actually above the fire, you know, it was like a dangerous situation because how would they get out of this building because the fire is actually underneath them you know so I thought that was kind of an interesting concept for this film itself you know but while uh, I thought the skyscraper film this was entertaining you know and I think it's uh, like the, the pearl of the summer I thought was awesome like the building you know like the, uh, the way it looked at the things you can do in it and stuff but I still I feel like they didn't really uh, explore it that much you know and you can actually tell that it's open for a sequel you know I won't be surprised you know if they do another by kind of dodge you know but the building itself, the Pearl, I thought was pretty good, you know, like an awesome building. And this is a pure escapism, like fun film for the summer, you know, I would definitely recommend it for that crowd, you know. But in a skyscraper, I'm giving this a B minus. Like I said, it's like full of action scenes, you know. It has an excellent pace to it, you know. Uh, like the look of the Pearl itself is like awesome, you know. It's a perfect getaway action film, you know. It could be far-fetched at times, but it is still like a cool, exciting action film, you know. So I'm giving it a skyscraper, I'm giving this a B minus. Please leave a comment and subscribe too as well.